Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with the American Civil War mod. So the Confederates' expansion continue across South America and the Caribbean. And this time around we're going to attack Colombia. But since I'm kind of running out of South American or sort of tropical looking um, land maps, I decided, you know what, we're going to attack a fort. But this fort, of course, is not within um, the sort of tropical uh, area, but uh, never mind that. We're attacking a fort to br to spice it up a bit. Um, so out there we have a fort with a few Colombian soldiers in. And uh, here is Jeb Stewart and his uh, army to ready to invade. So uh, without further ado, I say we go in and see if I'm actually able to uh, attack and take this fort. The difficult thing about taking these forts in this mod is, well, partly there's, well, there's two main things, um, maybe three even. Um, first of all, it's the dang, very dangerous guns uh, that is stacked on top of the fort walls here, which does tremendous amount of damage to any infantry unit moving forwards. Um, secondly, it's the walls, more or less impossible to destroy. You'll have to put tons of shells in to actually try to destroy these. And then I guess the third part is that, I don't know if they've changed something around, but these sort of, um, what you call them, Par parapets? Um, the um, defensive position actually soaks up so many of the musket balls that it's impossible almost to shoot anyone down and given also the way the morale system works in this mod it kinda makes it really hard to try and assault them bayonet wise. To make it uh, hopefully be able to maybe bring down the walls or at least kill everyone on top of it I have gone ahead and deployed four of the Confederates' biggest guns, which are these Parrot rifled guns. They have tremendous range, but also a tremendous 30 pound shell, which is a percussion capped explosive cannonball. So as soon as it hits um, whatever it's supposed to hit, it explodes. And hopefully that will tear down the walls. So I have two of these on either side. Well, not exactly. I've got two on this side. I've got one over there on that mountain, I've got one right here. And then to make sure that we are able to, um, I'm pretty sure the explosive or the percussion shells will tear through and kill loads of the Colombian soldiers faced on the wall. But just in case that is not the case, I have got these two massive mortars. Don't exactly know what um, sort of caliber is on these shells but it's a pretty massive mortar and I've set them up to fire shrapnel shots so we will be spraying the enemy with tons of shrapnel. Once we have sufficiently broken them down I've got these three waves plus a little bit of a reinforcement back there um, to send forwards to attack one side of the wall. I could possibly go ahead and try to hide through the areas around here to try and attack multiple areas, which now when I think about it is probably a quite quite a good idea, which is why we're gonna switch some of the units out. So we're gonna have one should be able to get around here and get around here. Could possibly go around so we can attack three sides and then these guys will attack the front. With that said, I'm, I think we're ready to start, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, let's go ahead and start trying to advance these guys. Hiding there in the dead ground, we have started shelling the enemy. The enemy has started shelling us as well, and uh, I was hoping we would actually be, um, be covered there behind the forest. It's interesting how Empire, I think Empire and Napoleon both um, kind of do their sieges where they seem to plop down the fort just wherever, uh, where you in reality are 
imagine you would clear away the forest, then you would try not to have a great big stonking mountain or hill next to it, um, where in which you could set up on that hill and fire down onto the fort. Uh, taking a few casualties here, but nothing too bad as of yet. And we've actually made quite the progress already. Now, it's only 2%, but 2% is quite a lot. Um, I'm hoping all guns are firing. I guess it takes so long for these to actually fire. That's why it's taking so long. Okay, here comes next shelling. And we're at 3% here. Ooh, we just cut down through here. We've got a few shells flying through here. Killing loads of soldiers. As they hit over here and explode upon impact. Killing loads at the staircase. This would probably be uh, just be torn to pieces if an actual shell it flew into this and set it on fire and every nasty thing. Even the commander has taken a hit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to order the mortars. Why? Maybe I'll, I'll tell them to attack the ground. And I imagine that if I tell them to attack here, the shell will explode somewhere around here and they will throw it like so. Um, we're gonna wait until the Confederate troops are ready to attack the sides. I'm not entirely sure how well... Ooh, there goes. That could have been one of the shrapnel shawls. There we go. Shrapnel shawl? Shawls? Is that what I said? Shells. So even though we're not really advancing, we, we're in high, we're in sort of dead ground and um, there's a forest in between here, we're actually, we have actually lost quite a few soldiers. Quite a few I say, we've lost four in this and we've lost eleven in this one. But still, that is quite a lot. We lost the flag out of this one. One thing that's always bothered me is why no one picks up the flag once uh, the guy carrying it is lost. Could be nasty here, since we're kind of walking in a very precarious way. You know what? Let's try to call him up and then try to keep in the dead ground here. I'm not entirely sure we might be even within musket range here. I'm hoping these cannons, yes, seems so we are within musket range of the Colombian force. Um, not that sure if it was that great to actually spread my troops out because now they will spread out along all these cannons. Well, I mean, we got some great hits um, when they were all clumped together over here. We've got 1% over here. Let's see, what do we have? 1%. This corner is at 3%. I think we'll have to order the cannons to actually target one area. I will target this and hopefully we'll be able to get this down pretty darn soon. I think we just tore through a cannon here. You might not be able to tell because these are modded that they will break down. Ooh, got a nice shrapnel shot there. Um, maybe it's best just to let the mortars fire as they please. Uh, I can also fire the explosive shell. Well, we've taken some casualties here. But I think we're ready to draw the line here in... Should be more or less dead ground. That we can hide behind. And hopefully we'll suffer quite very few casualties. This side seemingly has not been attacked at all. And I think we'll have them coming across here. It's a pretty good position to attack through here. And um, maybe I will go ahead... You know what? I will send two of these units forward just to do a test attack on these walls right here. And we'll see how well that goes and we'll keep these guys as the actual attack. 
So I'll have nine units, three brigades attacking at the same time. Um, and we'll see how well we do. These two are now advancing. They've got two units on the wall. One militia unit and one regular. Most of the Colombian troops have been moved over to this wall. And they are actually firing at us with musket fire. I'm not entirely sure if they hit. We are not within range. So I'm wondering what kind of different musket they are carrying. Anyways, that opens up, of course, for us to... Uh, might be able to do quite a successful attack here. But also here. To have these guys come in through this. Can we get a bit of a move on here? Ooh, we've got the shrapnel flying overhead. They're moving over troops now. As I guess they realized we're coming through the forest. I will order the men to quickly move into position. 12%! Quite good. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure this cannon might be firing at our own men. So we'll tell these two not to try and target this. 13%, that's good. I'm just checking these guys to see that they don't lose too many men. They haven't lost too many yet. So that's okay. 14%, very good. These guys have come to their positions. Ready to open fire on the walls. Who's gonna fire first? Let's see. 381. No single one out of this one shot. I'm just worried that all these cannons will open up. It would be nice if some of these would break as we were firing on them. Sound the charge, you say? Bloody morons. Uh, well, if they intend to move out of the fort, I will have this brigade move up forward. Okay, so they're kind of all over the place. And clearly the musket fire is doing more or less yak all in terms of uh, damage. Might be able to do a little bit more if I actually move to the very edge of the forest. Ooh, look at that, all that shrapnel. Ooh, that one was even worse. Just exploded right above them. 17%. Everyone's wondering, why is he so excited about 17%? Well, I have... I mean, once I actually broke it down to half... I think I mentioned this in the Alamo video. Broke down a wall to about half strength. And it took me probably 30 minutes to actually be able to accomplish that. I guess they're aware of this brigade moving up. So I want you guys. Pretty nice open flat crown. Go there. And then you on a tilt. And the other one could possibly move into a flanking attack over there. So right now they, they're putting so many down here. They're actually attacking out of the fort. Then I feel pretty confident in actually starting the main attack at this point. We might be able to defeat them without actually breaking down the walls. I still want to keep three units in reserve in case something terrible happens. So the regulars are streaming out of the fort, the fort right now. I'm hoping these guys will be in position. You know what? They have no one on the wall. We can gain quite a lot of ground here and shoot at them at close range. And then you can kind of come around there. And we're wanting to take up this. Uh, why don't you set up like that? And the other two move forwards. So this unit is going straight for us. Hold fire. And then retarget the unit coming straight for us. They're charging. Let's see if they. I'm 
bet they're going to slow-mo just like everyone else. Just before they reach the line for some reason. Yep, there we go. Someone said it might be because they're exhausted, but I don't think... I, I think it's a bug. Because they seem to always happen that, even though they're not exhausted or they're otherwise. Plus, even if you're exhausted, you're not going to go this at this crappy speed if you're charging into someone. I'm not going to try to climb the walls just yet. Let's try to gain a bit of ground here. We're down 23%, pretty good. That unit that moved out is defeated. And getting shot to pieces. For some reason they went from um, broken and very tired or exhausted to very tired. After, I guess all the really exhausted people died. I don't know. And now they're stuck in between the fork, firing at them. Well, the fork is probably not aiming for them, but the fire is coming that way anyways. Sort of stuck in between there, and this unit firing down on these guys. So we're doing okay right now. Oh crap, this unit is forced back. Um, oh, both of these are forced back, right. I'm gonna send these guys up. We don't want to lose the momentum we've got right now. And... Um, I still don't really see a possibility right now for us to do uh, a great attack trying to uh, actually conquer the fort by charging in. Can I get you to fire that unit? And hopefully break it before it comes in contact with our guys. Oh, you've not even reloaded. Boom, 27%. These guys are continuing moving forward in column. They're exhausted. As soon as we hit the lip of the hill, we'll stop and open fire upon them. Okay, these guys are back. But since they just been through that, we're gonna push them back here, being reserved for now. There's a risk now on this cannon shooting through these guys to hit the, them. Most units seem okay right now. 28%. Oh, we've had a shot go towards these guys. Seemingly hitting them on the trees. Are you gonna f fire or haven't you reloaded? Guess they're still reloading. We're firing upon them right now. Got another great barrage on this. 30%. Oh, here comes the shots. Missing though. Actually hitting our unit. So that wasn't too great. Having these three units move forward. I will tell you to hold fire then. And pick your target at will. And hopefully we'll not blow our own men to pieces. 30%. Really nice. Which side is the weakest? This is the weakest side. So, you know what? Let's do an attempt on this part of the wall with this unit. And I'll bring my general closer to support. So, we'll do an attempt to get up on the. You know what? That's the point when I'm shooting at. What am I? Am I stupid? Clearly. Um, stop myself there before moving up on the part which I'm trying to blow to pieces. Right. Um, then they're. Uh, I guess this part would be the weakest part then. As these move forward. That's what we're gonna do. These two line up like that. This one will go straight for it. 
We will put the general right in the corner. Hopefully no one will shoot him there. We could have him charge down, make sure these guys don't come back. I don't think they will, but they, m they might just. And that's the only cavalry unit I have, so... Hurry into position. And this unit will continue forward. I think the captain was just shot to pieces there. Got cannibals straight through the face. Charge! Try to take the wall. This could be a very wasteful attempt. Losing me loads of men in the process. Okay, the unit is wavering at this point. Yeah. We were uh, unsuccessful in our attempt. The bastards are manning all the bloody cannons. They're holding on. Um, guess we'll not try a second attempt. Wait, the reserve units are the ones that were broken down. I mean, since I've pushed so much fire onto this corner, I could try to claim it that way. But obviously, um, we're trying to break that point to where we can actually go straight into the fort. So maybe that's not too great of an idea. Make sure that these guys do not come back. Try to make sure that our men do come back. 37. How long has the battle gone on for? It seems to be slowing down. I mean, 37% is still a far away from 100. We are doing some great work cutting these guys to shreds on these walls right here. But at the same time, I'm losing a lot of men. This unit has lost tons. So I'm guessing these guys is these guys are in a particularly bad position, given the cannons firing on them. So we'll relocate them. The guys on a tilt seem to be doing better than the guys that straight forward towards a position. It's 178 up on this. We could try to claim the wall by sending loads of troops on the part which I'm trying to break. And just quickly... Uh, be able to hold down that piece for just a while. Right now, most of the enemy units are in this corner. We have a few over here. With two units retreating, so this one's retreating, and one on the front line is retreating. We have cut the enemy quite to size, though. These downs are down to 165. You know what? I do want to try and do an attack there. 40%. All artillery will cease fire right now and I will advance. Put some ladders there. And we'll see if we can actually go and take that bit. Didn't I order the cannons to hold fire? Okay, the mortars can still fire. The general... Oh, he's actually lost 
some men there for some reason. Not entirely sure how. He's lost some bodyguard. Right, we're gonna try to climb here. See how this goes. Hopefully this should do fine. Get those hooks on the wall. You have, you're steady, you're fresh. 223. There's just a few guys manning cannons. You guys should be able to go through this. You do have the advantage. We're gonna hold fire. This is one of the things I think I made a mistake in uh, the Alamo video. Is I had my men continuously firing. Which meant that uh, as my guys were climbing up, they were shot in the back by their own men. Our guys are having quite the hard time getting through here. This guy doesn't care, he's just gonna stand there, being silly. Okay, we got quite far. We uh, just need to do that once more. And now there's a big push for them to get out of the fort. Kinda need, since there's nothing here, I kinda get you onto here, shoot everyone that tries to get out of the fort. And then let's get second unit up here. Let's see if they if they become once they go for from uh, th then they slow down. Oh shit. But they were still only very tired. Now they're exhausted. Maybe it is that they... But they become exhausted so quickly. They seem to be jumping from very tired to exhausted. And the thing is, I guess... I guess maybe what they've done with the mod is they expand more... Um, more uh, stamina points from charging because I've had my units just run forward into position and that worked fine. Oh, the general is trying to get out of here. You know what? Let's gain some chevrons, shall we? So I've had my men run like this forward, working just fine. Gonna capture all of these guys. Gonna gain some chevron for this unit. Ah crap, that attack failed as well. Okay, back to your firing positions. The enemy is moving out. And I want the artillery to open again on that corner. God damn it, I have not been able to capture that. In order the men to open fire muskets as well. Just completely blast that area. Look at how many chevrons these guys got. They're almost at full points, and the wall is almost broken down to 50%. There's only three units left. One of where which two are wavering. Only one confident unit left. I think we could see victory here in Colombia. Even though it took a lot. Come on, I just want to break it down to 50%. Get those cannons going. And then we'll make an attempt on the wall again. 
on all sides. Everyone will try to charge. You know what? We'll start it off by you trying to charge over there. And we'll have you move forward and just bayonet all of this. You will attack over here. You will attack over there. You will attack over there. Come on, get me 50%. There we go, 50%. All cannons, hold your fire. Claim the bloody walls. Everyone to the front. So general moving forwards. Became very quiet once my men started stopped firing, I mean. So we went completely through this. Start climbing. See if you can capture this. This unit will just run straight through. Putting hooks all over the place. I wonder if it's enough. I mean, we have some of these units wavering. We are climbing here. Nice. Taking this part. Hopefully taking this part and in so doing claiming. That was unnecessary. Gatehouse is claimed. This unit will move in. These guys are broken. Okay, the fort has been taken. Shit. For some reason, someone in the artillery department didn't get the memo and still fired on this piece. Let's have the general move inside. And all the walls are claimed. The fort is ours, and we will raise the confederate flag. All units, hold fire, I don't want friendly fire, and want the general in there. But there we have it, victory! It cost us a lot, so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of casualties we're looking at as we move over to the casualty screen. But with that said, we're gonna end it right here and uh, move over to see uh, the casualties. So I'll see you there. And the statistics is as follows. We can see that I deployed 700 men more than the enemy, something that I definitely needed since they had a fort to defend. Um, unfortunately wasn't able to break through the walls, but I got to 50%, so that's something. Um, we lost about a third of our force. Almost exactly, actually, a third of my force. Almost. Um, and the enemy lost most of theirs. I'm actually surprised that... Look at the difference in between. So the enemy killed 750 men. While I lost 1,200, that's a discrepancy of 450 soldiers that I possibly killed myself um, due to artillery fire and so forth, or musket fire, uh, which is probably a record um, in these videos anyways. Um, when we go into the actual kill stats, we can see that uh, the general Deploying 10 men, lost 4. Not entirely sure where he lost those 4, but he did. Managed to kill 126. Most likely capture them though. They're sort of riding around, cutting down people, trying to leave the field of battle. Highest goes to Texan Volunteer. Not entirely sure where these guys were deployed. Lost 69 soldiers, killed 409. Pretty good. Then we got the Kentucky Volunteers. Tennessee and the Texans. I think Kentucky ones are the ones that lost quite a lot of men. Half the unit. Mortar did quite a lot. So those shrapnel shots, I thought maybe hmm, those are quite ineffective. But we can see that they almost killed 200 men. Which is good. Um, also one of the parrot rifles managed to get 134. Not that that was very cost effective given that the the uh, parrot rifle cost me about, um, I, I think it cost me a thousand points, 
to deploy. Uh, and that is roughly the cost of like an entire brigade, so three units. So you probably want to field three units instead of these. Um, or at least in this manner anyways. But now I wanted to break down the wall, so that's that. Um, the other mortar did not so well, so I'm not entirely sure what the difference in these, because they killed almost two-thirds. Or, um, yeah, two-thirds as many. Can you say that? Two-thirds as many? Sounds weird. Um, these guys did really poorly, but then again, they were conscripts. And um, usually what I do is, because there's so many confederate units in their roster, I usually just click here and there all over the place to take few few units, so I don't really check what units they are. And that's why you end up sometimes sending conscripts up against a wall, getting absolutely murdered. There's a few other units down here, South Carolina, North Carolina did really poorly, well, they're volunteers. But there we have it, we have the statistics and Colombia has fallen. I'm running out of nations to invade at this point, but uh, we'll see about uh, finding out doing some more videos. You guys seem to like them and I'm getting plenty of views on these so we're definitely going to continue doing some custom battles uh, with the Confederates invading all kinds of places. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!